Hey guys, my name is Mara and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today after a few days of resting in Abu Dhabi, I am going to cross the border into Oman, from Al Ain to Al Bireni. So enjoy the vlog. So I took out some cash and now I will go pay my bus ticket to Al Ain. And then I go to Al Bireni. After a long bus ride, I had finally arrived in Alain and then I was taking a taxi outside of the city to reach the border checkpoint. Because there is also a border checkpoint within the city, but it's only open to the residents of the UAE and Oman, maybe GCC as well. But I had to take this taxi outside of the city, so I made it from Abu Dhabi all the way to Alain and now I'm crossing the border to get to Abu Dhabi. But I cannot cross without a vehicle. So I had to hitchhike, and it looked a little bit like this. Do you speak English? Yes, yes. Uh, walking across the border is not allowed. Yes. Would you be able to take me? I think they, not, they, they will not allow for us. Not allowed for you? Yes. But everybody tells me I have to find a right to cross the border. Where is your direction? Where do you want to go? Al Buraimi. Al Buraimi? Yeah. Okay, let me. I will ask him there. Yeah. First, if they allow for me, I will come and take you for that place. Okay, thank What's you. What's your nationality? Dutch. I do not need visa for Oman or UAE, I can go, uh -huh. but I need a car, but I don't need visa. You are working in Oman? No, I'm meeting a friend uh, from Abu Raimi, but I need to cross the border. All the city borders in Al Ain, they're closed and I cannot cross because I'm not GCC and I had to come here with taxi, but now the problem is I cannot cross without a car. So I'm just basically trying to see who can take me across the border. <laughs> Okay. I can go. You will do stamps from there, yeah? Yes, I know. First time while you were coming here? Huh? First time? Come yes, first time. A lot of people were passing me by, so I wasn't sure whether I was going to make it. Maybe you have some issues on the magazine. No, I'm really just a small girl. I don't have anything crazy. I thought women would be more safe, but those are the ones that always skip me. No no, it's visa free for my passport. Ah. From where you said from Netherlands. Where? Yeah. It's okay for my passport. Okay, okay. I think no need visa, eh? No, I don't need visa. I check this. Only visa I need is Bahrain, Kuwait and Saudi. <laughs> okay. UAE, Qatar, Oman is okay. You are friend here? Where the and then I had made it across the border. I did have to pay an exit fee despite the UAE being visa free. But after that, I was finally able to enter Oman and the visa fee in UAE, it was very little. Just a little bit of money. Yeah, yes, he says he will come now. Because you can send for him your location and stay there. Yes, yes. Uh... Okay. 
this road. Nearest for him. Okay. Only from that for him to here ten minutes only. So I just made it across the UAE Omani border, and I have my couch serving host come to pick me up. I had really nice people. He, they get me across the border and everything, and they help me. Uh, get across the border and drop me off in a safe spot right now. I'm just waiting here basically at this roadside uh, Store type of place. I don't even know But yeah, hopefully uh, I will soon be going and then I finally got picked up by my Pakistani host and he took me to his house Where we just were enjoying some dinner now just film it because <laughs> I want to uh, Like film my experiences and post it and this also is very tasty what is that? Uh, we called it chutney. Oh, like a chutney? Yeah. So there's like the rice with the raisins, like a typical mm. Afghan, Pakistani, yeah. and then there's the chutney. Chutney. And this is also lentils. This is the... Half peas, no? Hmm? Peas. Peas? peas. Yeah, yeah. The next day I was shown around by another Pakistani family friend of the man who I was staying with. And I had a lovely day exploring Al Buraimi in Oman. So they do have like oasis here. Because a lot of people think it's really just desert here actually. But oh there's actually a lot of green as well when I was drive when I was in the bus from Abu Dhabi to Al Ain, it was actually very green. Yeah. Oh, there's a sitting area. Yeah, there's a sitting area. Mm -hmm. And this one is for. So this is. I am also uh, first time come here. Uh, really? <laughs> yeah. This is the second place sitting. Mm -hmm. This is for. Uh, <laughs> oh, I have to watch out here. here. I also fell on a hole Be once careful. in Georgia. Be careful. Yeah, I gotta pay attention where I walk. So there's like ladies and there's men. Yeah. This is the ladies' side and this is for Okay. Lovely little oasis, quite green, quite lush, some flowers going on. I believe they say that they were still building up the garden, vigorating it, and hopefully it becoming much better in the future as well. So they have like a bunch of ducks here as well. Okay. It's very cute. <laughs> It dies. That's weird. It really dies. That's interesting. Yeah. Oh my god, it just dies if you touch it. Why? It's strange. <laughs> Now we visited the local fortress and a little bit of backstory here. Al Kandak Castle, it lies in the center of the city of Al Buraimi, in the Al Buraimi government in Oman. The present twin cities of Al Ain in the United Arab Emirates and Al Buraimi in Oman were originally a group of oases separated by desert. Originally the whole area was known as Al Buraimi Oasis. In the late 19th century and early 20th century, numerous forts and towers were built to solidify Abu Dhabi's control over the western oasis and to protect the settlements and oasis from roaming bandits. In 
In 1952, Saudi Arabia sent raiders to capture the Abu Dhabi forts and incorporate the oasis into the Saudi Kingdom. Forces from the Trucio Oman scouts, as well as the army of Muscat Oman, arrived to recapture the oasis. With British intervention, the Saudi forces surrendered. After the dependence of the United Arab Emirates in 1971, Abu Dhabi and Oman agreed on final borders, dividing the oasis. And this is still one of the remaining fortresses from that time, the al Qadak castle that was probably built at the end of the 17th century. And it's a rare defense feature for Omani fortifications. After I was being shown some ruins of another place that was nearby this fortress that I just showed you. Nothing, nothing, nothing. nothing in there? <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Before we continue to explore, it was finally time for a well-deserved break of getting some strawberry pomegranate and watermelon juice, I believe. Juice shops are really popular all over Oman and it's a well-deserved drink in this blistering heat. And it's water. Yeah. <laughs> it's water running. That's probably not a good idea with the. It's a good idea, but... That's... Okay. This is very interesting. Then it was finally at night, and we were back at the house. And I was so lucky that my host was really generous with letting me have a nice bedroom like this. So yeah, I just spent my first day in Abu Rami. Tomorrow I'm already leaving, unfortunately, but this is an incredibly nice place. They have so many things like fortresses and ancient ruins and tunnels. There should also be some wadis nearby, but I didn't go. But I will try to go from Muscat also. And the Pakistani hospitality is amazing and constantly being hosted by friendly Muslim people. And we have so many misconceptions, but these are actually some of the most hospitable people that I've ever met. So yeah, I'm really looking forward for tomorrow then. So that was Al Buremi the first day. My host wasn't available to take me for the first two hours, so the son of his friend, he took me around and showed me the oasis and a fortress and some ruins and he bought me a very nice juice and then my host also took me for some food and showed me this tunnel where they get the water from underground so this is actually a really nice place so you can really f enjoy the nice Arab and Pakistani hospitality that you can find here it's a really nice place and it's been a really nice day after my very intense border crossing yesterday where I was hitchhiking which I thought was totally crazy but so far i think buremi is al buremi actually not just buremi it's a really nice place
wanted to go out like this in a skirt and be covered up for the most part but apparently they will make issue if I go out like this <laughs> so I guess back to pants now so yeah back to the more conservative look right now otherwise I might get issue with trying to sit in a restaurant wearing a skirt <laughs> So that's it for this vlog and I hope everybody enjoyed watching it. Like, subscribe, comment, full watch time. Thank you so much guys and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!